What the hell? Whatever you do, don't call that tow truck. Don't do it. Don't do it. Welcome back to Codes and Coffee, guys. This video looks like we're having a uh, case of the Mondays. This video, we're just going to talk about doing a hard reset. We're not talking about a starter, a battery, a relay, a fuse, dealership reprogramming, a chip, your key fob. This is one final step on starting your car. So, if it's acting crazy like that, I'll give you a tip. Just a quick tip. I'm just gonna pop your hood. Mine's down here. <laughs> Just come to your battery over here and you can see on this one specifically it's corroded by that um, white acid residue your quickest way uh, to solve your issue and it works about 90 percent of the time and you can do it with absolutely zero dollars all you're going to need if you have yourself just a regular little ratchet here and a set of uh, metric. You could use standard if you want, but in this case, in this case, I'm going to use metric. And on this one, I think it's a 10 millimeter. Yeah, it's a 10 mil. So we're just going to take that off. You might have a little spark. Don't be afraid of it. Make sure you're just lefty loosey. Take that off. some paper towel you don't want to get any of that battery acid on it take that off let's take that off put it to the side all right you want to clean off any excess of that battery acid. Uh-oh. Now this is, this is going to be how you do your hard reset. You're going to leave that unplugged for a solid 30 minutes. Alright. And it's as simple as finding yourself one of these tools with a quarter inch ratchet, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter for mine. Yours could be an 8 or you know or maybe an 11 I've never never seen too many with 11 but uh, we'll be back after our 30 minutes so. running laps around you should have dashed the bullet I doubt I feel it's something and then you had to pull it don't even try me I wonder why they would take the time to ever since you left if I motivation to live my fullest even though I'm empty you took my heart and stole it and I don't want to feel alone can only feel so open truthfully I speak out more for myself I need somebody tired of calling for help so you look at me all right, our 30 minutes is up. Sorry about all this. It's just a pain in the ass to try to record and get all this done. Now, 30 minutes is up. We're going to go ahead and put our negative back on. Your alarm might go crazy. Your horn might beep. You might see a little spark. Let me switch hands. Don't panic. Don't panic. That means everything is working. Okay. 
now put that right there. Now lefty loosey ready tidy. Go. I'm gonna go ahead and re-tighten it. That's good. You want it back the way you found it. Nice and tight. Happy with that. Alright, let's go test it out. Okay. That's all you have to do okay so if uh, this video was able to help you out if you liked it uh, please drop a like subscribe if it did if, if this video didn't help you if it didn't work if your problem wasn't solved don't need to hate anybody okay that just means that your vehicle needs something else it can be an electrical problem it could be something that has to be looked at. Uh, you will need to hook up a code reader to it, bring it to your local shop. Uh, typically they don't charge anything. Maybe they'll charge 20 bucks to hook up a code reader to see, uh, see what's going on with your vehicle. Uh, but this is specifically for a hard reset. All right. And there you go, that's it. When um, your vehicle starts going crazy, all your instrument panel here starts turning on, um, and uh, you definitely, let's rule out some, uh, some problems that you may think that's wrong with it. Uh, it's not your battery. If your battery were to be dead, you would hear a click, 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 okay? And that's just telling you that there's absolutely no power going on to your um, your unit uh, the second one can definitely be let's say it's your starter if it was your starter these are these are all typical noises that everyone is familiarized with but there's no actual terminology for it but if it's your starter you would hear a choo -choo 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 -choo. your car will will try to start will try to start but it will never ever start you'll just hear that choo -choo 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 forever and that would be your starter um, but in this case here um, this is just a quick tip all you need is 30 minutes of your time uh, like we showed you earlier the quarter inch ratchet 10 millimeter socket all right and zero money okay now if you do need a quarter inch ratchet and uh, some sockets uh, go to your flea market go to a yard sale go to Walmart go to Home Depot go to Lowe's go to your Target go to your local family dollar your local Dollar Tree Dollar General wherever there's a place that has a small area of uh, automotive basic tools um, and that's where you can pick up the tools and it shouldn't cost you any more than like 15 20 bucks but all in all so 15 20 bucks for just these little tools um, yeah that's well worth it than a 50 dollar or 400 dollar truck we're all good here i hope this solves your issue now that you're so excited that your vehicle is on when you're ready to go to the beach, run your errands or whatever, uh, one last step. Clean up your mess. You don't want any uh, sparks or anything or any fires that you totally lose your vehicle. Alright, you don't want to lose any tools. And, uh, okay, let's just double check here. Try this out, hopefully it works for you. And as always, Subscribe, leave a comment, drop a like, 
and on to the next.